This video was intended to inform and educate the public. Yeah, okay. They just move the car here and they close the gate. Okay. Oh, What's your last name, brother? Uh, Jim Martinez. I'm, I'm sorry? Uh, I don't want to give any identifying yeah. information. I'll just give you my first name, Hoyle. <laughs> well, I need your info, man, because I'm talking to you, brother, because you're the person that they called on, so... Uh, well, we'll leave it like this and we can call it truth. I'll give you my last name and that's about it, because uh -huh. at the end of the day, I don't... I, I'm not legally provided to give you the full name. I'll just... Just leave it at the last name, bro. Unfortunately, the state takes you. Yeah, dude, you have to identify yourself, man. Uh, you're right, making Texas, it bigger. Texas you're, is okay, more. Brother, you're, you're, like you said, all you got to do is your name. You're, you're making this bigger than it is, brother. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so no. okay, we go on our way, man. All I have is Martinez. You're giving that's, me your first name like that's, like that's a normal okay. person okay, would. Okay, my like name a... is not going to help you in your investigation. All right, go and take a second there. First time on the back of the car. Oh. <laughs> Man, you see you're a law student, bro. Welcome to the Junkyard News Channel. And do I have some video footage for you today? I'd like you to meet Joel Martinez. Mr. Martinez, who claims to be a law student, had purchased a vehicle and was at a scrapyard. It looks like a pick apart place where you actually go in and pick your own, you know, take off your own parts out of junk vehicles and you purchase them to get some parts he claims for his vehicle that he had recently purchased. Now, during business hours, trying to pick his parts, he claims he lost his keys inside the lot and was unable to move his vehicle from inside the gated area off the property right before they closed. Now, the junkyard was more than happy to use a forklift to move the vehicle outside of the gated area so he could call a locksmith and have a key made and go on his merry way. So sometime after the business closed, somebody drove by and saw Mr. Martinez and a locksmith who was making him a key for his vehicle and called in a suspicious activity, suspicious person report. George Yes, which one we wrote to that call on 8330 Donovan. So, suspicious subject. Law enforcement shows up to see what's going on, investigate exactly what's happening. Mr. Martinez calmly and politely tells the officer, Yeah, I was in there, lost my keys. They moved my car out here so I can get a locksmith and have a new key made and go on my merry way. Okay. Okay, say that again. Uh, I lost the keys in the junkyard over there. Okay. So I called them to come and get the. To come open the gate key. or what? Huh? To come open the gate? No, the key. No, the car. The car is the one that lost the keys. I lost the keys to the car. Oh, like you went into the property and you dropped the keys? Yeah. The I was in there doing you know, like regular junkyard stuff looking for my parts. Uh, yeah. When I was leaving, is when I found out he had my keys. They let me go in, look for them all over the 30 acres of cars they have. Okay. They didn't find them, so they just grabbed the tractor and moved it, moved the car outside, so I could call them blocksmiths. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's weird, yeah, because we got a call with a gentleman with your description. That's why on the uh, property. Were you the only one on there? Yeah, he just got here to the. No, we had a description of your your description that you were walking around the property. Yeah, well, I was here and the car was close, so I couldn't okay. get out. So let me understand: is this car yours? So well, at the moment, I just bought it. Right? You already bought it? Yeah. Okay. You gonna? What's wrong with it? Besides the key, it just, starts. Yeah, it starts and everything. Just a key, just came in and picked up some spare parts. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, they just sent us out here because I'm wondering if the owners, because there's cameras on your brother. Oh yeah, yeah. So they uh, saw saw yeah, you what, walking they, around. Yeah, and they, and they also told me like they told me like oh the alarm is activated after five uh, automatically. Okay. So, but they closed the gate behind you. Or what? Yeah. They yeah okay. The, they just moved the car here and they closed the gate. Over. Okay. What's your last name, brother? Uh, Jim Martinez. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to give any identifying information. I'll just give you my first name, Hoyle. <laughs> Officer says, "Great, I understand." decides he needs his crack for the night and asks for his ID. Mr. Martinez, who claims to be a law student, understands that in Texas he's not required to produce identification on a police contact until the point of arrest for something other than fail to ID. He's not required to ID and he knows it. And when he tries to explain this to the officer, the officer does not know or doesn't care or just doesn't believe him. So once again, we have a false arrest for failed ID in Texas, but it gets better. Well, I need your info, man, because I'm talking to you, brother, because you're the person that they called on. So, Martinez, no, first name? Nah, it's Joe. What's that? It's just, just, just like that. I'm not gonna give my information right now. Okay, why not? Just. Just? Just. 
Okay. Now, now here, here's the thing, brother. I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Martinez. Yeah. Now, me asking you for your information is nothing illegal. Oh, okay. it's not I'm, just, I'm just asking you because you're the person they called on. I, I need to find out who you are. And you're telling me one thing, so I got to call the property manager and ask them if they were the ones that allowed you on the property. Yeah, that's that's the investigation, so, so, right? Yeah, yeah. So I need your name, brother. Well, I gave you my last name, and yeah. what's your, what's, you, you could just call. Name? You could just call the the property man. And, yeah. and do you have an ID? I do. You mind if I see it? I do. Okay, why is that, brother? Because okay. I don't, I don't want to be difficult, man. No, you know, I don't. I'm trying to be difficult as, as, long as, as long as I'm cooperative with you, you're cooperative with me, man. Oh okay. yeah. Well, this goes a lot smoother for both of us. Okay, Jim. Uh -huh. Well, we'll leave it like this, and we can call it truth. I'll give you my last name, and that's about it. Because uh -huh. at the end of the day, I don't. I, I'm not legally provided to give you the full name. I'll just just leave it at the last name, bro. And remember, in Texas, a person is generally required to provide their name, address, and date of birth to a police officer only when they are lawfully arrested. This requirement is stipulated under Texas Penal Code 3802. Some of you may be well familiar with that statute, as it was also cited in Turner v. Driver, which states that a person who is lawfully arrested must provide their identifying information to a police officer taking them into custody, and that it is a crime to give an officer false ID. It's important to note also that while there are specific situations where providing identification is required by law, Individuals do have the right to remain silent and the right to legal representation when interacting with law enforcement. If a person is not under lawful arrest or not operating a motor vehicle, they are not obligated to provide identification to a police officer on a mere request. Okay, well here's the thing is brother, and I, 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 don't, know, I, I don't know where you heard this from or what, but since I'm investigating what's going on in this property and you're the one that matches the description, yeah. I need to know who I'm talking to now. Okay. If, if you want to take this further, you want to complain, you want to whatever, it's up to you, brother. See, look, I'm coming, I'm coming to you respectfully, bro. Man. Okay. Okay. What was it? Men Menoy? Men Men so I'm just investigating what's going on, bro. Now, yeah. if you fail to ID yourself, I'm asking you lawfully to see who you are. You're the one making it difficult. Now, if you want to impair my, my, my investigation, that's fine. That's on you. Okay, but I don't think you want to take it to that extent, brother. For giving me your name and date of birth. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna warn you now. I'm gonna okay. warn you now, brother. You don't give me your ID or your full name, I'm going to arrest you for failure to ID. Okay, okay. so because this is I'm investigating, brother. That's all I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine like that. Okay, I'll give you my my name after okay. after what I say this. Okay. All I need is your okay, name no, and date of birth, brother. That's it. Under the I, I'm not amendment? asking you. I'm not. A, oh, and, and I'm okay. a law student here too, so perfect. It's not that I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not asking you for a blood sample. I'm not asking for your it, DNA. All I'm asking. I, that's a see some identification. Uh -huh. Okay, correct. So I'm gonna okay, investigate. Calls, the, the, calls are not are not reasonable articulable uh -huh. suspicion to okay. suspect me of a crime you know under sir? Florida versus J. L. Okay. Under the Supreme Court. But I'm not here to argue with you. Yeah, I'm not here to argue. I'm here to defend my rights. So I'm asking you for your name and Okay, that has nothing to do with me because I don't it know you. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't, I don't you. know you either, officer. Okay. I thought, Look, you, were a, there, I thought there, you were a chill officer when you got oh, down. Like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm my hands, whatever. I'm They're cool. like, hey, okay, he'll respect I'm my cool. rights. I'll just get on my last but, but name. So you're the one making this difficult. All I'm asking for is your name. It's brother. really not difficult. And it's not impeding your investigation because it's not a physical or okay. it doesn't, okay. or it doesn't, okay. my, giving you my ID doesn't you say, and you help you you're a law school, right? You're a law student? Okay. Yes, sir. So you got to understand, sir, I'm investigating. Okay. You matched the description of the gentleman mm -hmm. that was in the yard. Okay. Yeah. So that's the only reason why I'm asking you. Did they say I was in the yard? Him. Yes, they said that you were in the yard. Yeah, they said you were in the park. So that's the, the only property? reason why I'm asking you. Yes, brother. And I'm not, I'm okay. not going to run so, your name. Okay, I'm not, I, all I'm doing is that I made contact with you and that's it. Well, but yeah, not, now, to, uh, now you're making it bigger than it is because all I'm asking is for a name and date of birth. You don't want to give me your ID? Just no. give me your name and date of birth and that's it. Yeah, unfortunately, the state takes you. Yeah, dude, you, you have to identify yourself, man. Uh, like, you're making Texas, it bigger. Texas, Texas is okay, more. You're, gonna, you're, as you said, all you got to yeah. your name and you're, you're making this bigger than it is, brother. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so no. we go on our way, man. All I have is Martinez. You're giving that's, me your first name like, that's, like that's a normal okay. person would. Okay, my like name a, is not going to help you in your investigation, first yeah. of all. Well, yeah, but I made contact with you, brother. Yeah, that's the only thing. Contact is not enough reasonable suspicion for you to seize my identification. You're not being placed on arrest or anything, brother. Okay. That's okay, are you asking for my name? I'm asking for your full okay, name, brother. Okay, if you ask me for my name, I, I I exercise my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. If you're demanding my ID, I, that's, I never not, said, that's a fourth ID. Uh, I'm not fourth demanding. Amendment. I did never demand. So you can ask? All I said is give it to me, okay? Ask? Now, here's the problem. I'm investigating, okay? Okay, but that's are you asking for my identification or... I'm asking you for name and date of birth. That's so asking, all I'm asking for. Asking, right? That's it, brother. Oh, don't answer questions. 
All right, man. So if you want to pay this car with me, man, yeah, I, I, got, I got all night. No, you know what? You don't need a supervisor because this what's going to happen is, dude, I'm going to place you under arrest for failure ID, yep. okay? And that's going to be on you, okay. not me, bro. So you already okay. said that it's going to okay. be under arrest? Yes. I'll go ahead and turn around. If I don't give you my Go ahead and turn around, brother. Go ahead and turn around. So I'll give you my dear Go ahead and turn around. No, no, no. Put your hands on the car. You already failed to identify yourself, okay? Give me your left. Give me your right arm. Once he's taken into custody, police search his vehicle and claim that they're going to call a wrecker and they're going to have it impounded. They cuff and stuff him in the back of a patrol car, take him to the jail, keep him handcuffed in a cell until a sergeant arrives at the station. Now, Mr. Martinez had asked for a supervisor at the scene and the law enforcement officer declined to get him a supervisor. Mr. Martinez also claims that when he explained to the officer that he was a law student and he understands and he knows his rights and he knows he does not have to give him his personal identifying information until he's arrested for something, doesn't sit well with the officer. And the officer, according to Martinez, actually scoffs at him, makes fun of him, and belittles the fact that he's supposed to be a law student and look you know look what happens when you think you know better than i do you get arrested you got to, you want to play games brother I'm, I'm here being nice and you don't want to give me your name and date of birth and then all this just for a car bro that's it okay bueno pues ahí estamos i'm gonna read you your miranda thank you sir car so we can impound it yeah it says he just purchased it all right come on bro okay no, no, you're staying right there because you're going to my unit. You're okay. under arrest. Oiga, señor. Oiga, señor, puede pagar mi teléfono, por favor. Puede pagar mi teléfono, por favor. Está allí en la ventana de frente, por favor. La puede pagar. Mi teléfono antes de que se muera. All right, one second there. First time on the back of the car. Oh. <laughs> Man, you see you're a law student, bro. Mm -hmm. yes. And you, you also you had to do no, it. No, 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 Yeah, impounded, brother. Yeah, I think they, he was saying that they kicked him out. Yeah. yeah, that's what they were. I saw the notes. So, uh, oh, she was this. Oh, all right, cool. you're on these or? Uh, the other shift. I'm on uh, Carrasco shift. Cross oh, okay. Oh, so you came to help us out tonight? Uh, to further notice. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know if you were gonna make it, so. Yeah, yeah. So, uh. Impound it, you said? Yeah, impound the vehicle. Okay. It's his, so you can tell this guy to take off. He doesn't need a beer. Uh, you need anything, sir? No, dude, I'm just going to go process this guy. I'm going to present it and... Miranda. He's going to read him his war Miranda's real quick. So what's going on with this guy? Just it's because he didn't want to give his name, dude. He didn't okay, want to give his name. Because we're investigating because they called us he was inside their property. And they want to know what he was doing. He tells me we're going to the property. It is what it is, man. I think I saved it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think I saved it in here somewhere. Very good. Alright. All right, Mr. Martinez, before we go to the station, I'm going to read your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford an attorney. One will be provided to you. If you decide to answer questions now without any attorney present, okay, you will have the right to stop answering any at any time until you talk to an attorney. Do you understand the rights I've just read to you? With these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? No, I don't answer questions. Okay, perfect. Hey, partner, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him to the to the station, okay? Hey, uh... What's up? Hold on, hold on. We're searching your car. Did he have keys on him? No, they, there's no keys. Supposedly, he, he was telling me that he lost them inside. He just bought this car from inside. That's what he told me. There's a couple of grinders, but there's nothing illegal no. right now. He's saying he just bought this car inside the lot. 
and uh, he was in there looking for parts, and he dropped the keys in there. So he's waiting. He was waiting for a locksmith to start the car. So um, I need to call the owner to see if it, if it's true. So what you want to do? You want to impound it or what? This car, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got ten fifteen for a failure, uh, ID? failure to ID, man. During an investigation, what is that? I can also charge him with um, what is that? Uh, interference for my investigation. So. Now, after sitting handcuffed in a cell at the station and a sergeant finally showing up, the sergeant immediately opens the cell door and explains to Mr. Martinez that he's being released. The sergeant pretty much says, this was the whole thing was a mistake. We're going to cut you loose. And I will even have an officer drive you back to your car if you need to. Mr. Martinez, as seen in the body cam video, explains to the sergeant exactly what happened, how his officer was wrong, and claims that his officer is now going to be buying him a new car because he has no qualified immunity in this. Mr. Martinez even claims that if the sergeant brings out his officer to the lobby before he leaves to apologize to him for belittling him and making fun of him for knowing the law better than the cop does, that he may not go after civil remedies. So I don't think he qualifies for any crime, okay? He doesn't so qualify for a crime? I'm going to go ahead and release him. Of course. Um, I'm, I'm not that option to dash number. Yeah, this is unacceptable. Oh my god, I'm so fucking pissed right now. Let me finish that. Okay. What's your dash number? Mine? Yeah, or your name? Sergeant Procopio. Procopio? I'll give you a kiss. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get all cameras, dash cam, body cam, phone calls, everything. It did not constitute a crime. Look at what he did. Let's move talk over here. Oh. I just got here. Yeah. And I was just brief with the incident. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get all the facts of what happened. Yeah. So based on what he told me, like I said, I was supposed to the failed ID time. Okay, that's but right. let me get him for you. Oh, let me, let me go talk to the deputy first. Can you get him here? Just so you can educate him and so he doesn't well, happen again. And that's why I want to get with you. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask him some questions first. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, lock my phone. And my wallet and my airbox. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, let me just be with you. What about my car? We're gonna take you to it. Okay. But like I said, give me some time so I can try and find you. Okay, so and what happened guys. to the lock, locksmith? Because a locksmith was, because I lost my keys in the junkyard and I needed the locksmith to give me, to make me a key. Those details? I'm trying to obtain those details. Okay, what happened? Walk me through, through what happened. Okay, so I was in the, in the junkyard, right? During business hours, I was doing my job, everything with my hands. I'm, I have, I've been working, because you can tell. Um, then, as I'm in a junkyard, you've seen how big it is. Mm -hmm. I lost my keys in there. Yeah, you pull, pull parts of it. Yeah. Lost them, couldn't find them. They gave me a chance. It was like, they closed at 5. It was like 4.30. And I was like, please let me in. I was like, I find gone. They looked, and they picked me up on a truck. They said, hey, the alarms are going to activate automatically. You need to get out. What about your car? Because it was parked inside the property. I was like, well, I don't know. Like, so the owner or one of the employees gave me three choices. Like, okay, choice one, you could leave it here. It's all secure. We have sensors, cameras, and whatever. Uh, if anything, well, and you'll come back tomorrow and look for your keys or get a locksmith to make you a key. Or we could get, or we could get a tractor or one of the forklifts to move your car right outside. And like, if you can move my car right outside, so I could call a locksmith, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, locksmith got there. And during this whole time, I was just waiting outside, right? The locksmith got there, and he was like, we did everything right, and then I just see a patrol. I was like, whatever. I get down, and he's like, hey, he was like, oh, we got a call, and you're, that you were inside the property, that you were looking at, or what, he said that, that you were inside the property, and then I was like, okay, and then we take a day, and then they say, okay, what's your name? What, he's like, what's your last name? Martinez, and he's like, okay. What's your first name? He's like, oh, I'm not gonna give her enough. He's like, okay, and he's like, why not? He's like, I'm trying to be, I'll give you my name, whatever. He tells me, like, you know? 
And they're like, okay, but I'm not going to give you my name out because I'm not legally required to give it to you right now. Mm -hmm. I'm a law student. I let them know too. An MSU criminal justice major. I let them know. I'm a law student. And under Florida versus JL, uh, an, an anonymous call or a call is not enough reasonable articulable suspicion to articulate a crime because RAS is only based on the facts known to the officer, right? Mm -hmm. So I told, and he was like, I don't want to hear, like, give me your ID. No, he didn't, he wasn't demanding, he was asking, you know, I'm asking you for your name, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking. And then until he said, well, now I'm going to arrest you. They're like, okay, that's different. You're asking, if you're asking what's your name, I'll just say, I don't answer questions. Mm -hmm. But if you demand me my ID, give me your ID, or I'm going to arrest you, or give me your ID, I'm going to arrest you. I, that's enough, that's all I need. Mm -hmm. I can get that on the phone and be like, okay, that's enough, show it to my attorney, that's enough for the litigation. And, and he said, and I told him that, if you tell me to, if you're threatening me with the rest, and I have it all on video, he said, if you threaten me with the rest, I, I'll give you my, I, my wallet, right? I'll give you my ID right now. He's like, no, turn around, push me into the car, boom, put your phone down, set it up on the windshield, put your phone down, grab me, tie me up, he's like, you're a really stupid monster, and aren't you? He's like, okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, takes me into the thing, right, and I'm telling him, like, bro, you're gonna sponsor my new car? I'm telling you, you're gonna sponsor my new car. Ho ho ho! He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's a good law student, whatever. He leaves, doesn't, and I asked him to, and I asked the other, do I get my phone call? No, that's up to the, the discretion of the arresting officers. It's fine. I'll, I'll, what's that comedy? Just waiting in the cell, disturbing anything. And as you can tell, I'm a really cordial guy. I'll talk to you. Whatever. Don't disrespect me. Obviously, someone randomly goes up to you just asking you for your name and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just nothing, it's not something you do, it's self-respect what I was doing. He arrests me, makes fun of my studies, makes fun of everything. He's like, okay, you think it's funny now, but you're super right. And I, I, when we were over there too, I told him, call your supervisor. You don't need a supervisor, just turn around and put your hands. I, this, all this could have been saved if people would have called you. You would have gotten there and you said, hey. Yeah, unfortunately, I was burning. Made aware of it? Yeah, he, he uh, made that's him why He's like, no, you don't need a supervisor. Took me in. And I told him, with a smile on my face, this is not what you want to do, man. This is this is really not what you want to do. Okay, let me go meet with him. So what are you missing? Uh, with my phone, my your wallet, car, my As far as your car, uh, I canceled whatever record they had in route. Mm -hmm. so the they also searched my car without, without consent. So, that, I guess, like you said, this is, uh, does not look good for the department, I'm going to say it. As far as searching it, I understand that the deputy made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And when a person is arrested, we have to do what we call a, an inventory. Yeah, it's an immature check. So I get that. It's all part, it's not separate from the. But when it's, a, when it's an unlawful arrest, that makes an unlawful search. It's an unlawful, it was, this, this whole thing was unlawful. The moment he put his hands on me, mm -hmm. that was unlawful, this whole situation became unlawful. Therefore, that was an unlawful search. I lost the guy that was gonna give me a key, so now I, now I have to call someone to come and pick me up and the car's gonna have to stay wherever it's at. Still, I, I can't get a hand of a, of a locksmith right now. So, how can we fix it? Okay, does that make a mistake? That's gonna be addressed, of course. Well, where's the deputy? You said he was gonna be here. He's, He's here. here. But I wanna meet with you first. Okay. Well, I give you my side. I would like to hear the deputy side right here. Okay. If that's fine. That's fine. Um, as far as your car, there's your property. I have your stuff right here. Your phone, your wallet, your AirPods. Yeah, you can hand this over. Yeah. Thank you. What was your name? Frankel. Frankel. Nice yeah. number? 4535. Five, five. Five, nice to meet you. Yeah. I have, I have the videos here. I, I believe you. I'm not everything. I don't. No. I, I'm just trying to get the facts as far as. Well, those are the facts. Yeah, from your point of view. Um, as far as us, my understanding is that uh, someone called mm -hmm. and said that there was suspicious activity. Mm -hmm. I get it, it's not a crime. It's not. But that's enough reason to detain someone. So this whole thing became unlawful because he, first off, he never said that I was detained. Never once said that I was detained. I'm trying to answer your questions. Okay, okay, this question. Okay, going back to what happened today. He never said that I was detained. So as far as I'm concerned, I could have walked off. Because if you're just asking or it's a consensual encounter, I can make it unconsensual and just walk away. 
There's a lot of what ifs, yeah. I mean, I can sit here and say that, but that's what I'm trying to find the facts. First from you, then from the deputy, mm -hmm. and then we'll move on. Okay, okay, so okay I'm done with my story. You can have the deputy and give his time. Okay, so what are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a story now, and then I'll tell you what I'm after it. I'll, I'll let you know what's going to happen. Okay, let me wait with him, and then I'll be back, okay? His story is basically your story, pretty much. Um, so what I'm going to do, of course, luckily I caught it on time. Yeah, you, you were brought over to the station. I was kind of a mistake, of course. Uh, so Deputy Rangel is going to take you. As far as the locks, it doesn't want to see you now? It, it's a different process. Of course, you do have a complaint. You, well, okay, you know. let's put it this way. If he comes here and apologizes to me, I won't litigate this whole thing. It's up to you. I mean, I I can always, my job is obviously make it better for you. Uh, let me go talk to him. Yeah, because before, before you go, because um, he signed himself to the cop making fun of me. Oh, what a stupid law student. Mm -hmm. Oh, he thinks he's going to get out. When, he got in, when we got into the thing, the till we got in, he was already, hey, he's a law student. He was telling the, the deputy, he said, I'm not lying, but he tells him, mm, he's a law student with a mm -hmm. smart smile on his face, thinking, trying to humiliate me, making fun of me. And now he doesn't want to show up. That's the thing, man. Like, if you could get him to be here, if he had, he's no, mad enough what, to what be trying to say, mad enough and apologize. Not, it's not that. It's not that. Since I'm obligated to investigate any type of complaints, mm -hmm. um, I don't think it was best. But if you want to go that route, we can definitely go that route. Mm -hmm. So you can get on here. What? Oh, oh, give me one second. It'll be perfect. And although the sergeant really isn't thrilled with this idea, putting his officer on blast, he goes and gets the officer out there into the lobby to go face to face with Martinez. And Martinez takes this opportunity to pretty much, you know what, I told you so. I told you so. And it's great. I love it. Yes, Mr. Martinez. So, have anything to say to me? No. No? You said you, you laughed at me? You said that I was a dumb boss Did I do it? Okay. Did you or did you not? Did I not? Did you say that I was a dumb boss No, I didn't say where you learned the boss I do not. No, no, sir. You got me into the cruiser. It's on your body cam too. Okay. It's on my phone too. Okay. You got, we got, got into the cruiser. Okay. And you said like, you're a really dumb boss. When we were getting down here in the station too, you're a really dumb boss here, aren't you? Gets me, you get me into the thing and you start making fun. Oh, everybody look at him. He's a law student. He's a law student. And you left me in there with the cuffs on. Okay. And, and I told you. Didn't I tell you that what you were doing was unlawful? Uh -huh. Did you believe me? No, it's not that I didn't believe you. Okay. I didn't did you, did believe you get the supervisor when I asked you to? Okay. No, you said I didn't need one. No, I said, I never said I didn't need one. It's on your body camera, it's on my phone. Yes, don't lie. You asked your supervisor, well, what did I tell you? You said, you don't need one. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. No, I told you we're not going to get one until we get to the station. You know what? You don't need a supervisor because this what's going to happen is that I'm going to place you under arrest for failure ID. Yep. Okay? And that's going to be on you, okay. not on your brother. Okay. You know what? You don't need a supervisor. No, no, you didn't. It's on your body camera. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't disrespect my supervisor like that, man. Well, you, because you I, we, were, we were in the motions and, and, you know, and I'm in the wrong. I really am. I'm not going to lie to you, brother. Okay? You so, are in the wrong and I told you you were in the wrong and I told you you were going to... And I told you all this and what you thought was funny. I never thought it was funny. No, you laughed. Mm -hmm. You oh, walked in oh, and tried oh, to make everyone laugh. funny were your comments, brother. That's it. All my comments. Your comments. That you're saying, uh, Florida code this, I'm going to get a new mustache. Florida, Florida versus JL, that's case law. You don't have case law. I can tell. Because you unlawfully arrested me. It wasn't a mistake. He broke the law. It's not a mistake. And that's what we're here. That's, that's yeah, that's, what that's why we're about. here. And now, you are going to buy me a new mustache. Mm -hmm. You are. Because now all this... That's going to get for you that request. Your dash cam in your car, everything. My phone, your badge numbers, everything's going to come into one single file record. It's going to come in here tomorrow. And that's going to go straight to my attorney. Mm -hmm. And how do you think? And you lost your qualified immunity right now. Right now, okay, you can find yourself. So, so it's getting out of control. Um, you said something okay. different to me before. Take off. I will take your complaint. Oh, okay. Whoa. Uh, you have the complaint form? I can fill up. No, I have to fill it up myself. Is there anything else besides what you told me at first that has changed? Or any, anything else that we have to add to you? No, that's fine. I'll okay. see you in court.
How can I say? Uh, so, are you going to take your car as far as the last one? Well, I'm actually going to pick up here. Do you want to get picked up here or do you want me to? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a key. Okay. The, uh, I was working, so there was a locksmith there helping me get a key for my car because I lost mine in the junkyard. So, like, that car is in mobile right now. I can't move it. Like, I don't have a key. So, okay. Yeah, so that's another thing. So, do you need him? Well, I really don't. I don't want to get picked up right here. Okay. Um. As far as that complaint, I will send it forward through the channel command. Oh, well, well, now that we're waiting, you can, you can fill out that complaint form. I'm gonna do so, sir. That's kind oh, of okay. my job. Man. Well, okay. I can always say that I don't want to complain, but I do. That, that's not gonna change. Regardless, we have to report it. Ah, it's fine. Maybe your ID so I can put yeah, it sure. Here you go. So you need him? Uh, no. No? Know. Okay. Well, you have paperwork doing, right? Yeah. Good deal. If you don't need it right, I don't need it right now. Okay. Can I just get a phone number? <sighs> I'll give you my email address. Uh, can I write it down because it's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Nothing, bro. I'm getting released right now. Yeah. I swear to God, bro. Put it on your mom? On oh, my mom, bro. The deputy is right here. Tell me the story. Tell me the story. I'll send you the video, too. Uh, Tell me the story. Can you read that? Yeah, uh, I swear to God, you got Actually, the T and the R are switched because I misspelled it when I was recreating it. Okay. So, yeah, just Z. So, do you want to be contacted by email? Email would be next. By email? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Okay. Yeah, okay. they have the body camera and then there's a dash cam. Dash cams and police reports and uh, yeah. Or can you give me a copy of the police report today? No, I can't do that, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, we the report you can actually get it here, but it has to be processed by her. Oh uh, she's secretary. Obviously she's not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Monday through Friday. Okay. Okay. Uh, so no phone, correct? Uh no, no phone. Well if anything you know, figure it out, I'll send it to you. Depending on how it goes, but okay. can I just contact me for email? Okay, I'll let uh, internal first one. Okay, thank Any you. Any other questions before you? Uh, not it. Thank you for your question. Hi, right, sir. Sounds good. Um, mm -hmm. Let's let me hear, right? Are you no, I'm not trying to. Mom's on her way to pick Okay, thank you. So, yes, here we have another situation where an everyday citizen who happens to be a law student, yes, but average Joe knows the law in their state better than the law enforcement officer. Thanks again for watching the Junkyard News. Videos uploaded by the Junkyard News are helped in part by viewers just like you. You can show your support for this channel by clicking the thumbs up, sharing our videos. Don't want to miss a video or a story? Make sure to check us out and like us on Facebook at the Junkyard News.